What's up guys, I'm Mixie, Entity Magazine's Bachelor Fanatic, here to give you the highlights of what happened on the hometown date so you don't have to sit through two hours of this guy. <sighs> You're welcome. Hopsy, Arkansas was Nick's first stop on his journey to meet the parents. He and Raven hopped on a four-wheeler and raced through the mud. I was seriously concerned that his skin-tight jeans were going to rip right down the middle, but they ended up being stronger than my willpower to stay sober during this episode. Hold on, it gets worse. In a completely unplanned turn of events, Nick and Raven get caught by a cop trespassing on a grain barrel. Just when you thought they were going to be whisked away in the back of a cop car, something crazy happens. She's giving me problems all my life. You know her? A little bit. This is my little sister. Oh my god, it was her brother the whole time? I had no idea! They really got us there, didn't they? No, ABC, you did it. Hey, can you get it together? And while you're at it, actually give Nick a trespassing ticket because he enters my living room every week and he's never invited. The cringe continues as Nick makes his way to Dallas, Texas. Rachel decides to bring him to her church and I think that's awesome. Sharing your faith with someone is so cool. You better be ready to snap, clap, stomp. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. What I don't think is awesome is the fact that ABC decided to focus the entire hometown date on the fact that the couple has two different races instead of their actual relationship. This really rubbed me the wrong way. Clearly these two don't care that they have different skin tones, but everyone else does. This was painful to sit through. I am praying that this is not the theme that they have during Rachel's season because to be honest, it doesn't matter. Thankfully Team Corn was there to pick up the mess that ABC made and turn it into TV gold. Her adventure with Nick at the mall was exactly what I needed to get back in the game. Shopping and me go hand in hand. I mean, we're like white on rice. Let's do this. Hey Corinne, if you're looking for a new BFF to shop with, count me in. I'll send my resume over to Raquel ASAP. And the final hometown date of the night went to Vanessa. Her family was so painfully honest, it was beyond refreshing. Her parents saw right through Nick's bullshit, and it was everything I could have ever asked for. My impression is he looks like a fine young gentleman, but the only thing that I'm concerned if you are going to pursue this relationship, would you be happy? That's mm -hmm. the only thing that worries me. Vanessa, get out while you still have time. Even your family thinks this guy is insane. Go be perfect with somebody else that hasn't been on the show four times. The episode ended with a surprise appearance from Nick's first TV ex, Andy Dorfman. Hello, Nick. Now we don't know what they said until next week, but I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be pointless. Just like every other time the to be continued sign is flashed on the screen. Next week is looking to be two hours that I will never get back, just like every other Monday. But if you want to save yourself the headache, head on over to ncmag.com and check out my full recap of this episode and all past episodes. But until then, I'll see you next week.